Welcome back guys to another part of this video and in the previous video we did the edit user, view user and uh, it's actually a new year so happy new year guys so we should go into the deleting of user but I feel like you guys can do that so to actually do the deleting of user you actually need to uh, use the destroy method send a delete request to the destroy method and that uh, before you actually delete the user you need to revoke the user's role and permission so before you actually delete the user or another thing you can do is you, you can use the soft delete and the soft delete is just going to remove uh, the user it's not going to remove the user permanently it's just going to soft delete the user to do that you actually need to read more about that in the laravel official documentation page but if you still having problems in doing that please tell me so i can make a video on how you can do it so in this video we're actually going to be doing something different and we're actually going to be using the rules and permission we've been creating in a couple of videos before we're actually going to be using them right now in the front end and in the back end to actually differentiate and the user's role and permission so the first thing we need to do is actually take care of the front end then we move over to the back end that's how i do my stuff i believe that's still one of the best practice so to actually start with the front end you need to go over to the official level permission documentation page and in this page you see direct uh, basic usage and right here we're actually going to be focusing on we've actually gone to basic usage with taking some some methods we've used some method from there so right now we're actually going to be going to the blade directives and using as a middleway so we those are the two we're actually going to be consigning ourselves about and if you like you can go over and see how everything works so for this blade all you need to do is actually use this can method Laravel provides us with this certain uh, can directives so instead we can use the Laravel native can directives and large Laravel providers for us so we can just use that we can just use that for our permission I think in the previous version of Laravel permission you need to go into the I think the auth service provider or the route service provider I can't really remember I think it's the auth service provider let me check that I think uh, apps providers yeah the it's actually the app service provider and in this boot method you need to specify the permissions and everything there but thankfully uh, in this new in this latest um, version which is version 3 as at the time of this recording you can just use this can directives directly in your blade file so to do that we just need to copy this and come over to and come over to our view our i said view and come over to our blade file which is the admin what we want to achieve here is we actually want to limit these rules and permission to actually be visible to users that has the permission to create the rules and create permission mind you if you come over to our permission we have the permission to create rules and perm permission to create permission so we are actually going to be limiting the view the view to that so to do that we just need to copy that so we need to paste that right here and let's just paste this and for the permission we need to say create row and let's just copy this
So, this rules and permission will now only be visible to user with the permission of create rules. So, if we should refresh this page right now, so if we should see this user has rules and permission, and that's because this user has the permission of create rules. Let's just try. To, let us just try to log in with another browser. Uh, with a user that has so let's just try to log in now and let's log in with one of the users we created in in the previous video and let's just see this user with a role of an editor so let's see that and the password is password let's just see that now we logged in and you can see this user um, when this user clicks the management he has just the is uh is being shown just the users and that's because this user doesn't have the permission of create role and uh if we should come over to permissions and just come over to our users and uh, let's just try to assign the permission to this user uh the user is let's see the user email think yes that's alex at gmail.com so let us give him the permission of great roles let us update this and right here let's refresh so you can see the roles and permission is now visible to this user so let's do that and let's take away the role and that's and let's refresh and you can see the roles and permission is gone again and what so you've seen how we can actually use the roles and permission in the front end and this is actually simple and uh, we've done for the permission let's just do this for the role right now now for the roles let's just say role now if this user has a particular role i just want to show um, there's actually nothing here to show but for the sake of this video i'm just going to put another list right here i'm going to say class um, let me just copy and paste this Let's just say view row. Now, if this user has a particular role, we actually want to use this. And let's just come over here and say row. Right here, let's just say end row. So if this user has a role of an admin, I want to show this. And if it doesn't, I'm not showing anything. So let's check that. Now we can see the view role and we've we should come over here. Let's see if that role is visible. So it's not showing right here. And if we do it for the editor. Let's just refresh. I think it should be gone from here. We can see it right here. And right here, let's just refresh this. Yeah, and we can see it right here. And uh, if we should read on, if we should read on, we can actually check for any of the row. That means we can actually use two rows right here. Let's just say editor and uh, admin. That means this list right here will be visible to both admin and editor. Let's just refresh this. So it's visible to the editor right now. And if we should check for the admin, it's also visible to the admin. So um, let's just remove this and 
this is just for the sake of the video so in the next video we are actually going to be seeing how we can use them as middleware how we can actually use the uh, roles and permission we've created as a middleware so i'll see you in the next video guys and please make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel and um, yeah so bye